This is Science for Success, the best soybean management practices by Extension researchers from across the United States. There are several key points to think about when you're considering soybean row spacing. My name is Rachel Van, and I am the NC State Soybean Extension Specialist. The first key point is that soybean growers across the United States can be successful producing soybeans from all the way from seven inch all the way out to 40 inch row spacing. And row spacing decision making is often driven by equipment availability and rotational complexity. Recent producer data would indicate that when other optimum production practices are used, Growers have flexibility on used row spacing without compromising soybean yield. The next key point is that if you look at the experimental data, we often see a yield advantage of narrower row spacing. We recently looked at 84 state QSSB summarized research trials and found that on average there was about a three and a half bushel per acre yield advantage from 15 inch or less row spacing compared to 30 inch or wider row spacing. What is the driver behind that yield advantage from the narrow row spacing? Well, soybeans planted in narrow rows are getting to canopy closure more quickly, helping to maximize light interception to drive photosynthesis. The yield advantage of narrow rows is more pronounced when the time period between soybean emergence and beginning pod is shortened. That period can be shortened through the use of later planting dates, earlier maturing varieties, or high temperatures during that period. So that's why, for example, in a double crop situation where we're using later soybean planting dates, the benefits of narrow row spacing is so much more pronounced. The third point is that beyond the direct yield advantage from the use of narrow row spacing, quicker canopy closure achieved in narrow row spacing can also help with crop competitiveness with weeds, which is only going to become increasingly important as we have challenges managing herbicide resistant weeds. The final point is that there are regional considerations in soybean row spacing. For example, if you're a grower that has white mold, that may influence your row spacing decision making. If you're a grower in the south and you plant cotton and peanuts and you're running a ripper under your planter, you may use that for soybeans to try to break a hard pan. And finally, if you're a grower in a double crop situation, you may be more likely to plant in narrow rows in those situations as it's been documented that the benefits of Narrow row spacing are more pronounced in the south where we're often using double crop systems. Science for Success is funded by the Soybean Checkoff.